close I stare at my dreams as they approach Gotta be patient and trust in God, he the coach So as of recent, I've been getting a lot of questions on how do I stream And I mean a lot of questions, whether it's when I'm on TikTok Live, Twitch, or anything A lot of y'all have been asking how exactly do I stream and what do I use to stream and stuff like that So I wanted to bring y'all a video today of how I actually stream And I'll be streaming in about like 30 minutes or something like that So I wanted to show y'all everything I have set up and what other programs and stuff like that I will be using to stream on TikTok as well as Twitch. So the first thing I want to do before getting into the tutorial of exactly how do I do stream, I want to show you guys everything I have in my setup just one last time so everyone can know like what I use and what I use it for. So first, as you guys can see, I have my desktop PC set up right here that has my two monitors and then my gaming monitor, which I use to play my Xbox on, on this one right here, right? And then over on my bed, I have my gaming laptop and what you guys can see, I have my stream elements pulled up right now so I can change my sub goal and stuff like that. And then also I do use it as another browser source to read my TikTok chat. Once if I'm reading just the Twitch chat on this screen or something like that, I usually bring my t uh, TikTok chat up over here so I can just have this as another place to read it and stuff like that as well. And then, as you guys can see for the setup, you guys know I use a Logitech Brio for my face cam. We have my HyperX Quadcast mic right here. We have my Elgato 4K Pro Mark II and the PC right there, as you guys can see. And then we have this 4K monitor, and then these two monitors are 1920 by 1080p. We have my Xbox Series X down there, and I believe that is everything for the setup, except besides this stream deck right here. And then we also have my two GVM ring lights right there. And of course, other things like my mouse, my speakers, and also my Xbox controller and my headset. I also have a new controller that I haven't used yet. I'm just waiting on the perfect time to use it. But this is everything I use right now, and I believe that's everything for the setup. But now let me show you guys exactly how I use my OBS and how I stream the Twitch and also TikTok. So first, starting off with Twitch, as you guys can see, I have all of my scenes over here for the Twitch. So we got my screen scene, which shows the screen or whatever I'm on right at that point. Then we have my ending scene to where it shows when the stream is ending. We have the starting stream as well. And the stream deck can control literally all of these scenes right here. So that's what I like most about it. But we have the ending starting screen and the uh, main screen. And then we have this full face cam scene to where it shows me right there. And then we have my gameplay scene. And I also got some other ones like Fortnite and stuff like that. And if I'm in a Discord, if I'm just uh, recording a video and stuff like that, and if I'm reacting to like a music album or something like that, we have it right here. So you guys see we have all of my scenes. And now in these scenes, there are different sources or most of the sources are the same for all of them, except they're in a different order or layout. So as you guys can see, I'm on my gameplay scene and it has all of these sources right here. My sub goal, it also has the push up counter. And you guys see it also has my alerts, my chat box, my tags, face cam and all of this stuff right here as well you guys see that's my gameplay scene but i have another scene that's called full face cam and you guys can now see i have everything such as the sub goal once again the chat box the alerts push-ups everything the same as the other one except it's just in a different layout to where the full screen is me with my face so that's the scene that's the difference between having scenes and sources if you guys want to be able to to just edit your stream faster and be able to click through scenes and stuff like that so scenes is really how you use it to just switch from screen to screen so say you don't want to just every time you're going from your gameplay to full face cam you don't want to actually change it by itself you just use these scenes right here and it's already preset for you they save every time you close out of the app so it's perfect that's all of my scenes i have right there i may add more i may not but these have just been working for me and these are all of my sources right here and then you have the audio mixer so as you guys can see the sub goal for some reason has an audio box but i muted that if it's marked red that means it's muted and then right here as well i have my desktop audio my elgato audio which is my game and then face cam for some reason the mic picks up as well so i muted that and then here is my actual hyper x quadcast mic so of course that's turned all the way up and then this video capture device i honestly don't know what this is but i'm probably going to end up having to mute it because i feel like this is the same thing as my Elgato. So I'm gonna try to mute it if there's no echo or something like that. But as you guys can see, it's literally nothing moving on that. So I'm not really sure what that is, but I'm gonna just mute it to be sure of it. As you mute it, you just mute it right there and stuff like that. But yeah, that's my audio mixer. And then you move over to here and you have my activity feed. So if I get a new follower or something like that, it pops up right here and it refreshes every time I get a new follow, a new donation, a new bit, whatever the case may be, new sub, it always pops up right here. And then we have my Twitch chat, which shows how many viewers are in the stream, how many followers we have, subs and stuff like that. And then right here is where I get to all of my vertical layouts. So as you guys can see, 
all of this says vertical scenes and vertical sources. It's the same thing as these scenes and sources, but as you guys can see, I stream on TikTok now. Now, if you wanna know how to stream on TikTok, I'll let you guys know in a minute. But for the vertical scene, as you guys can see, we need this vertical layout so I can edit and control my Twitch stream. So we have this right here and then these all work with it. But the nice thing is, is that I linked all of these scenes. So therefore, whenever I change a full screen for my Twitch, it changes for my Twitch chat. So as you guys can see, if I want to go to my gameplay scene, boom, it changes for, uh, both of them. And we have my gameplay scene on Twitch. And we also have it on TikTok. If I want to go to screen, change my screen scene on Twitch. And we also have it on TikTok. And like, that's just how you make your streams more advanced and stuff like that. But like I said, if you guys do want to know how to stream on TikTok, let me tell you right now. So quick intermission before I get into the other things about OBS. The thing about streaming on TikTok is first, you have to have a thousand followers to even go live on TikTok. Now, once you go live, you won't already have your stream key. So the stream key is the only way that you can stream from your PC and your gameplay to TikTok, right? So me personally, the best way to do it is by contacting the agency. I contacted Carter Post and they was able to give me my stream key. And I believe around two or three weeks and I was able to get my stream key perfect timing for 2K24. And I was able to stream from my Xbox, I mean, from OBS into TikTok and stuff like that. But if you don't have it the way I was doing it and the way you're going to have to do it is you're going to have to like set up your phone and just show your gameplay and stuff like that and just stream by then because I believe you need to have at least 10 hours streamed regardless before you can get your stream key, even if you do get it through an agency. So you will just have to do it like the... You know what I'm saying? Like the ghetto way or whatever you want to call it by streaming through your phone to the gameplay or whatever like that. Yeah, TikTok Live has definitely been lit, but this is pretty much everything for the OBS. And I know you guys also may want to know, can you control all of this? You can literally move everything around the OBS. Say you want your audio mixer up here or something like that. You can literally put it right there, but that looks hideous to me. So I'm going to go ahead and move it down, back down right there. But you can literally edit everything and you can also add more of these. So say these are all called docs. As you guys can see, everything along the bottom is all called docs. Now, when I go to my docs, you guys will see, I can even add some scene transition. If I want to edit how the scene switches or something like that, I can add my vertical scene transitions. Also stream information, which allows me to change the stream title, game and all that type of stuff. Just different things to add. So now when I'm starting the stream, I usually start it off on this camera, but sometimes say like I schedule the stream at six, but like say I wanted to get my water bottle filled or something like that real quick. I'll just put it on this starting screen right here and have it starting until I'm actually ready to get on the uh, camera. And then once I am ready, I put it on starting. I mean, on a full face cam scene, as you guys can see right there. And then I start up the stream. And then for the stream, like for this browser right here, I usually have, well, all the time I usually have music playing. So I got my Apple Music pulled up right here. And this basically just controls my music. Now, in terms of stream settings and stuff like that, these are the settings I use, but in no way, shape, or form am I telling you to use these settings. I do not know what settings you need to use because all settings are specific to each person that uses them. Now, the reason I say your settings depends on user is mainly because of this right here, and that is the bitrate. Usually for bitrate, you have to test your upload and download speed, and that's how you can factor the max bitrate you can use for your streams. Now, me personally, I use 7750, and all the time actually on Twitch, it suggests that you don't use anything more than 6,000. But apparently that has been discovered to be capped. So I go ahead and use 7750 and it allows my streams to be at the best quality possible for my setup and for my internet. But in terms of just general settings, I believe that everybody should be streaming around 1920 by 1080 and then 60 frames per second. But if your PC or your laptop can't handle 60, I would suggest going down to 30 frames per second. So these settings down here is really how you know like the performance of your stream. You can also look at it on Twitch. It'll have that bitrate setting right there. But on here, it'll say like uh, CPU and then also the FPS. So if your FPS ever drops between the one that you put it to, then that's how you know where you are dropping frames. And then if your CPU gets up super high, I don't know the specific percentage, but if it starts to get like in the 20s and 30s, that's how you may know your stream is like requiring too much, something like that. But yeah, I believe this is pretty much all that I do for streaming. Of course, I have my other personal things like Obviously, I want to fill up my water bottle, say my prayer and stuff like all of that. But I just wanted to let you guys know, like in general, how do I stream using OBS and stuff like that? So if this video helped you guys out, make sure to smash that like button, bro. We just hit 1000 followers on this channel, bro. Thank y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, bro. Got a lot of videos coming soon. Make sure to comment in the comment section what videos y'all need to see. And also, if y'all need me to elaborate on something in this video, I got y'all, bro. Smash that like button and I'll catch y'all in the next video. It's your boy, Dom, and I'm out, bro.